In 2019 the government of Rwanda, through the Rwanda Water Resources Board, partnered with US-based EcoPlanet Bamboo to implement the first phase of the Riparian Restoration Project, located in the Sachoka Watershed Catchment Area. The project was aimed at addressing soil erosion from upland farmlands, and the associated siltation of key water sources. The Sachoko catchment in Rwanda's western province was chosen due to its strategic location. This montane catchment is the main source of water into the Niragongo Lake, a dammed portion of the Niragongo River that supplies water to a hydropower dam, providing electricity across the country. Soil erosion from farmed lands within the catchment results in reduced efficiency and higher cost of the hydropower, while at the same time resulting in reduced productivity of the farmed lands, many of which are the sole source of livelihood for smallholder farmers. In 2010, Rwanda's riparian buffer zones were delineated and defined as protected lands, with legislation to limit activities that can be carried out within these fragile areas. The Rwanda Water Resources Board is the government body that oversees the protection and where possible the restoration of these buffer zones, working closely with districts and communities. The planting of bamboo as a riparian buffer zone is one activity that has been determined to provide positive environmental benefits. Select species of sympodial bamboos are strategically planted in partnership with the surrounding communities, who are trained on the correct planting and management techniques. On smaller rivers such as those found in the Sachoko catchment, a single line of clumping bamboos are planted following the flow of the river bank where they serve to create a physical buffer between the water and land. Below ground, the dense rhizome network of the bamboo serves to bind the soil, stabilizing river banks and reducing siltation of the water resources. Above ground, the bamboo rapidly forms a dense canopy, which serves to reduce the impact of heavy rainfall on exposed soils, and slow the flow of rainfall into the rivers. The project has also delivered on positive social benefits, through the transfer of technology and ownership over the success of the project to the surrounding communities. The Sachoko Riparian Restoration Project has laid the framework for the scaling of this government-led initiative across Rwanda's mountainous lands. Sechoko was selected subcatchment to protect this hydropower plant, but you can replicate it for all rivers in the country. With public sector, private sector and communities, these partners are working hand in hand towards a better future.